here. Get my mic on. We're all set. Hey, hey. Uh, so last we left off, we had a we had a name for the, un, the now the unnamed, <laughs> and um, you Nameless. were getting ready to venture into the sewers, uh, past ruins of Oyanis, uh beneath the town. Uh, you had also gotten word that there was a uh, cleric, uh, someone looking for you around the town, uh, darker skinned, uh, white hair, wearing blue robes, with a uh, d distinctly had a shield that depicted the deity of the moon and healing Ku. Um, but you guys kind of, you know, nodded it off, whatever, just got your gear, started to walk, and decided to venture out towards the, the one sewer entrance that uh, <clears throat> all of you can fit through. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's, this has definitely been a restriction of the party, but it, it's a good learning experience. Um, so that's kind of where we left off. Uh, I'd like to, uh, I think you guys were ready. I think you guys all your gear together. Was there anything else uh, the Nameless needed to take care of before their evening venture into the uh, sewers? I slip off to buy at some point to buy a bottle of sherry for the sherry. You point. buy a bottle of sherry without issue. Uh, yes. Drop a gold piece off your sheet there, Dominic, or okay. who's ever. And I present it to Morbarn and uh, Tyrell. Go okay. ahead. So you guys are very uh, nice. You really thought of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Going ready. Um, all right. So you um, uh, pick up your gear and begin your venture towards the edge of Oyanis where um, it kind of the town kind of raises up off off of the the general area the general kind of uh, plains of the, of the area but there is a large pipe uh, where it looks like a lot of runoff is coming and such like that it doesn't you know you're, you're guessing this this must be the place it seems like the only pipe out here um, it's not gushing or anything like that it, it's a steady stream it's nighttime uh, the the evening is actually pretty calm. Uh, there's some clouds up in the sky, but of distinction though is that none of them, all of them seem to be avoiding uh, a full moon. That oh. that's fairly bright actually, surprisingly with a decent uh, kind of a the bluish hue uh, shining down, uh, making it actually fairly easy for uh, even those of you that don't have dark vision, which I think is just tearless uh, to yeah. see. I will prepare my torch. Um, it's not obstructed, right? The uh, the sewer pipe. No, it, it, it has like a gate on it or something like that, but it yeah. doesn't seem like it's going to be very hard to, to bust open or something like that, too. You're guessing. At least, at least what you're told. Everyone told you it seemed like you could get in and out this way pretty easily. Uh, who has the silver talon? Was that Norvar? Yeah. Okay. So you begin, uh, as you guys kind of approach up, um, Morbarn uh, specifically, you see up ahead... Um, let's see where we're Morbarn. Am I looking at Morbarn? Yeah, I'm looking at Morbarn. Um, Morbarn and Norvar, you actually both of you kind of spot standing, um, maybe about like 50 to 60 feet outside of the this large pipe that you can see from a distance. Uh, you see a, a man in blue and white robes, uh, with a shield at his side, wearing decently heavy armor, about, about on par with what uh, Norvar wears, just standing there. Not in sure. the moonlight. Yeah. Uh, is this in the tunnel or on it's the outside. way to? It's outside. You're outside. Right. There, there is no moonlight inside the tunnel. I put my uh, <laughs> hand on, on my sword, but okay. just on it, and I go, and I call out to him. Alun hey Alundria. there. Al Alundria, you hear a call out from a group of four individuals standing there, kind of walking towards your direction. Uh, a uh, you Coming from a person in rather rather uh heavy armor wearing a, a cloak over it with a shield a uh, shield and a sword by his side you see a gnome a uh, centaur which is rather unique and one of the things you've never seen before is a obsidian skinned dwarf whose <laughs> blessings hey. um, uh, yeah. upon you fellow adventurers <laughs> Ah, yeah. Hey. What up? What are you doing here? Strange, strange talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, the moon is shining most triumphantly tonight, and I pray to the goddess of the moon, and I've used her power and wisdom to guide me on all of my paths since I've escaped my enslavers. Uh, right now, I have a perfect sight of the moon, and 
I've come across the path of you guys, so I feel like maybe this was a chance meeting. Mm. Uh, so this is stalker. This is our stalker at the tavern. Oh yeah. So uh, we get closer, but but kind of, I take my hand off my sword and just kind of. So, uh, in slavers, huh? Are you hear that? Uh, are you from? Um, you new in town or from here? Uh, no, as a uh, teenager, I was actually uh, taken my, from my village. A group of goblins came through and slaughtered basically everyone except for the really strong for arena fights and children to grow up as slaves. Oh. An arena fighter. I'm like stoked. Yeah, our centaur <laughs> here is. Uh... I was one of the best in the pits. There's like many of different creatures and humanoids, but well, we've escaped. So well, you're welcome here. We never made it to an arena to fight, but uh, those Shame. goblins definitely uh, took everything that I loved and held sacred away from me. And uh, so can I tell I've, you? I was also taken from my family. Yeah, yes, you, you hear this kind of story that's that's not dissimilar from yours, uh, where this person was taken as a child. Uh, goblin slavers, uh, you never really saw any goblins, none of you guys really saw goblins in the pit. Um, but that said, it's not like necessarily unheard of to have goblin raid parties that might want to, um, uh, I don't know, ha have the graces of Zahash. Zahash, mm -hmm. maybe not Zahash, Zahash. So goblin, we, we we would know that goblin slayers works for Zahash. Uh, they would probably be more of like using it to keep him keep themselves in his good graces, so they don't come and like kill him or or enslave them uh, themselves. Right. So, uh, can I tell he's a cleric? One last question. Uh, yeah, you, question. you can pick I tell up pretty easily, uh, Norvar, that the um, the crest on his shield is one of the god. Uh, Ku, which is an androgynous god of the moon and healing. Um, so then I called to him, I was like, uh, as we walk up, I was like, so what brings you out here tonight then? So you're here, but uh, you wouldn't happen to be uh, the same cleric that was looking for us, asking about us the other day, would you? Uh, Perhaps who gave you, you that information? <laughs> uh, you you had been looking for them, Alundria, in that uh, there was kind of a uh, you had heard about a group of people that just kind of appeared in town. They didn't actually like uh, walk into town or were sighted in town. People kind of talked about it being kind of weird them just showing up. Um, it's unclear if they snuck in or how they got into town, but somehow they're here. Um, so it did strike you as a little odd. Uh, maybe maybe some, a sign of some sort. Uh, um, what's your name, sir? My name is Norvar. This is uh, Tyrellius. Uh, that's uh, Zog Chen, the dwarf. That's Morbarn, the gnome. Um, they're dangerous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's your name, sir? My name is Alundria. It is a pleasure to meet all of you, and Ku's blessing upon you all. Thanks. A polite uh, one. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, so, we... Uh... You want to come into the sewer with us? <laughs> <laughs> We're going on, a, on an adventure. Yeah. Do you want to join us? Uh, I believe I will. I uh, have done everything in my path to righteousness by following the symbols and the uh, paths which Ku lays before me. And I followed the moon, which is shining more triumphant than it has in a while, to this field where I came upon you guys. It seems that perhaps we were meant to come together here. Uh, I I just just could you excuse us for one moment, so and I pull the others back. Of course. And I go, not to say that I don't want him to be a part of this, but you guys gave me a whole lot of shit, and this guy comes out of dark with uh, like uh, talking about the moon, and you guys are cool with him hanging out. I 
when I talked about it, like you drew a picture on me, Morvan. We weren't even friends for a year. <laughs> he seems he seems very uh, trustworthy and uh, like a blessed one. And it mm. seems our fortunes have put us here in the same place. This is the most generous to somebody new I've ever seen the three of you ever be. Zogchen is even talking shit. But I mean, if you guys are down. <laughs> Zogchen was trying to elude the cleric at the tavern. <laughs> but, well, yeah, I mean, we, I, could, I, we could benefit from this person in our gang, wouldn't you say? That's very true. I mean, I'm rolling my eyes the whole time he's talking. Yeah, right. right. Put that out You're there. the monk. What are you rolling? This is a religious guy. You guys should be like, yeah, not my religion. No, not, not my religion. I don't know. <laughs> always talking about coup and moons and all that shit. We we worship a mountain right. lion. I, I don't know. Uh, you know. I have this feeling. That coup. <laughs> I have a feeling you guys are I'm probably sorry. right, but I'm just saying, like, you guys. Look, were if he wants to city. come into the sewer and absorb, you know, danger. <laughs> Hit point wise. It might take some of the healing load off you, Norvar, as I, as I fall to the ground once again, <laughs> over and over again. You do take a lot of damage. <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> I turn around and I go back. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, Alundria. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. We, I hope you understand, we work for an organization called The Nameless, and we're here to... We're looking for some people who have ill intent on this city and the people in it. Are you sure you want to get involved? If what you are doing is noble and of good cause to help stop evil, then yes, absolutely. That is what I want to do. I mean, that's, that's one way to describe what we're doing, I suppose, <laughs> from a certain point of view. Yeah. A little um, bit of vengeance. <laughs> A lot of us have a history in the pits and uh, with being enslaved and uh, some of us, I kind of glance at them as like are of different motivations, but in the end, we're all trying to accomplish the same thing and prevent anything awful happening. But um, as we, if you'd like to come with us, please do. How do you feel about creatures with a lot of eyeballs? Just <laughs> If they are evil, I think they should be smite from this world. You know, well, that's it, that's an interesting that, point. Uh, he might still be trying friends to, with Boel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still trying to figure that out. But all right, come, uh, you know what the hell? Everybody, for for once, the murder monk and the killer centaur. And I, I, the I would I would warn our new friend. Friend. We're all into having you hang out. <laughs> I'd warn our new friend maybe to have an open mind of. Uh, <laughs> Multi-eyed, uh, sex-loving creatures. Apparently, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to describe the guy. You know, maybe we should start slow. He's new. Let's yeah, start. I think I think so as well. Well, you know, yeah, too many. I eyes. may be new oh. to joining you guys, but I am not new to the essence of danger. I have been in my fair shares of bouts, and I have laid heels upon strong warriors such as yourselves. Well, that's that's good because we we take a lot of hit. All right. <laughs> Some of us do. But, well, yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you, and honestly, we could use all the help we could get. Um, Absolutely. You lead like, the way. As we <laughs> walk towards the as he comes with us and walks the tunnel, I also say, How do you feel about Sherry? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. <clears throat> Not a man. He doesn't partake. Not a man for the. Uh, uh, alcohol. I yeah, stick Norman to water. Really like the, like, like and and to be clear, everyone, uh, Lundria is human. Clearly human. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, so as you like approach humans. the uh, the sewer, the large pipe, um, and it's a it's an easily ten feet in diameter. Uh, you do see that it has a gate on it of sort of sorts. Um, it, it's definitely seen better days. Uh, there's a decent amount of sludge on the around the the bottom of it, um, but what's your approach to it? I'll just rip it off the hinges. Yeah, so tearless, tearless, kick it in. Yeah, boy. Yeah, with my new headband. Tearless, without much issue. That's you right, the have, headbands. <laughs> yeah, you you uh, without much issue, you manage to like just pull it back and just uh, break the uh, the really kind of shoddy lock. Honestly, you're guessing this is more just to kind of keep casual people out of it. Um, it doesn't look like even the lock even would work anymore, but you just snap it right off, no problem. Well, he breaks things off, I tell him, uh, tell Lundria, like, we've had reports that there's a group of wizards with ill intent somewhere hidden below the city. Um, 
are we are tasked with one to investigate whether these um, wizards are the ones we're looking for, oh, two to neutralize the wizards from doing anything awful. So, who tasked you guys with this, uh, or who gave you guys this task? Uh, uh, it is our task. Uh, there's a there's a benefactor who is uh, standing up against um, you watch the hosh. So this uh, means the hosh comes up to you, Alundria, and it's actually kind of triggering. Um, this is a very very powerful lich in the world. It's well known and largely was the one that the goblins that enslaved your family and your village and such were were working for essentially. Um, and he's known to take. Uh, he's been around for about a thousand some odd years uh and there's been kind of rumors of like discord amongst his his legions and this is a lich that has i mean like a hundred liches below him like he's got liches upon liches he's very very powerful dominates this entire continent um but um there's certain kind of pockets and this is one of the areas that he doesn't he doesn't have a lot of direct influence over but bringing up this name and them telling you that they're working against him uh, yeah. is appealing um Although their their benefactor does rename <clears throat> nameless. <laughs> All right. Well, I will interrupt my friend and say, Sahaj, say no more. I will assist in defeating any assistance of the evil, known as Zahash. All right. Yes. Yeah. There we go. And you, and you, know, you get this kind of, you, yeah. You, you and you you start putting it together, Laundria, that like these wizards are looking for are probably like lieutenants of Zahash. Like he's got like he's got um. He's got liches and he's got wizards that are wannabe liches, and they might be able to. He might ascend them. Um, kind I, of the, I'd be happy to explain that once I find, once I believe that he's honest about, yeah. you know, have being against a hosh. Like I would, I would explain. So these people, these wizards are lieutenants. That's what we're looking yeah. for. We're trying to and, find people who may have escaped. And to bring up the the seriousness of this group, uh, you actually notice that the dwarf is wearing a rather large kind of blackened skull around his crotch. Um, he has a large skull cod piece. You're fairly positive, and it does emulate some necromantic uh, magic, that it is a lich's skull. Yeah. It, it's all about you. the comeback. <laughs> Try not to stare at his crotch piece. <laughs> I still can't believe he put that next to his dick. Oh, it's on top of it, technically. <laughs> his his dick is holding it up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, wanted, I told, I told you, I got I got like the Blackie Lawless going on over here. I told would you like Would you like me to bless your codpiece? <laughs> <laughs> the well, the, uh, right the right eyes right. light up. Yeah, his little eyes on the little <laughs> codpiece light up. You'll fit right in, Alundria. Thank you. Uh, uh, we should also mention that the jaw is slightly loose, so it chatters when he walks. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he has no balls. Because <laughs> he's a monk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know I know. Uh, uh, Fry was starting to listen to it, but you didn't get far enough to listen to that part of it, uh, and that was about four sessions worth of uh, planning. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. so like a wild to craft that cod piece. Yeah. All right, so... Um, <laughs> Tearless, you, I'll, you, I'll get there. I'll catch up. Oh, sorry. I'm on episode you, six, by the way, for everyone oh, yeah. who didn't know. Uh, so you, you've ripped the uh, you you ripped the the piece off. Uh, who wants to go in first? It does smell pretty bad. Um, there's a decent layer of kind of like uh, a very condensed, we'll say, sludge at the bottom of it, but it's definitely walkable. It's only going to go to right. maybe like a just butter nope. shoes a little. Push bit. Or no, no, no. Yeah. I know. I push everyone out of the way because I got the headlamps. Okay. I'll go after him. Right. I just feel like a. If I get trapped behind you, I won't be able to, to help you fight, so I should be close to the front. Okay, so I, I have the front, I have uh, Zogchen, who else wants to, is he <laughs> also want to be the front, or do you want to put him up at the uh, the tip of the spear, as it would be? Zogchen, Tyrolis. I say, uh, we. I would suggest putting the cleric in the middle, and okay. uh, then Morbarn, I'll take the rear. Okay, and and Tyrolis actually... is in the middle? Uh, yeah. Second. Second in the ring. Second. Okay, so you're right. Okay, and then Morbarn, where do you want to be? Do you want to be up front or do you want to be um, in the middle? I'll be back? I'll be towards the back because okay. if we get into any trouble, I can jump over all of you. Yeah, yeah. You all get right. all you stabby. Yeah, yeah, you can move through all the large creatures. I, yeah, I just, I want to make, I need to make that meme of like Morbarn with, uh, 
uh, the merchant Chops going, play. let me in, let me oh. in. <laughs> <laughs> you um, see, I was, I was thinking Tropic Thunder when that little kid yeah. like stabbing him in the yeah. back. That works too. Um, all right, so Zogchen, so you 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 actually feel a little more comfortable. It does smell a little rough here, but it's not like you you smelled worse, honestly. Uh, you know, having to having to change up headbands and, and geese at the uh, monastery, mm-hmm. but um, the, you know, you, you kind of uh, it does feel a little more comfortable being underground. Mm. So, um, the as you kind of walk through it, the the stonework is kind of shoddy on this part. It's definitely rotted. It's it's not stable. You can't put a lot of weight on it. But if they're just flowing crap through here, literally crap, you're going to be okay. Um, you you begin walking through for a while, uh, and this this section goes for probably about, um, I mean, 100, 200 feet uh, back into the town. Okay. Um, and now you're, you kind of, it starts to kind of like become more and more stonework, and you're realizing that this is very much what they were talking about, with, where this is like the ruins of a castle that was here before. Mm. Um, they kind of repurposed it into a sewer, essentially. Okay. Okay. Um, you come up to a uh, a kind of a a junction, uh, a t a t junction. Oh, okay. So uh, we gotta go left or right. This is um, your, your natural habitat. You see any signs on the walls of uh, what? Wait, what a sewer? Traffic. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Underground. I pull out the silver Do claw. Know? Do I have any sensation of the talon? So you, you pull out the talon, and uh, you you kind of like, uh, what do you want to do? If you want to go up to Zog, where Zogchen is, or where do you want to go? Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. You got the talon thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I pull it out, and I'm like, oh, all right. It, it doesn't uh, do anything. Uh, it said... just kind of sits there in your hand. But like, uh, you get a slight uh, up ahead, uh, Norbar. You see like a slight tingle of like a blue light along the wall to the right. Interesting. I go ahead and put it around my neck. I kind of squint and I kind of put it around. I take my hood down and I put it around my head. Well, actually, it, it's just um, you're everybody can kind of see this and okay. you're noticing that it seems to be more about the proximity of the thing to that area. OK, so I walk up, I kind of scoot my way up to the front and I'm like, uh, this might this might be helping. And I just with the blue, the blue light. So you go to the blue light and the, the, the light kind of illuminates into like you're it looks like it kind of reminds you of runes, but they're not like ancient. They're not any language, you know, um, it's more of like um, I don't want to say hieroglyphics, more like picto- pictographs in a sense, but you're not really sure what any of them mean. Uh, more barn, you kind of pick up on them that like they're meaning like it's it's indicating to come this way to approach mm-hmm. this direction. I can read. I, I recognize. <laughs> I recognize some of the the language. Hmm. What okay. does it say? It just says like, it's just saying like this is the this is the way to come. Like go this way, right? Turn we only. should go. We should go. It the says opposite. walk this way. Aerosmith rules. And then Zogchen immediately uh, walks away and says, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, that's his shit, yeah, yeah. Then go punk on some bobo somewhere else. Anyway. Um, all right. Yo, I just noticed Andrea's got the band on. God damn it. I have a black bandana here somewhere. Okay. So, um, my heart. So, uh, so yeah, more barn, and you guys are kind of staying in this junction. It's it's a little, it's pretty bit more spacious than the tunnel you guys were in, so it's actually a little bit easier for a uh, chairlift to move around. Uh, the ceiling definitely is a little confining; like you couldn't like rear up on your hind legs if you really wanted to chairlift. No uh, along with your uh, your trident might be a little restrictive, like try to bring it over your head or something like that. But it's okay. not too bad. Um, the uh, but yeah, it tells you to go to the right. Um, so who wants? Did you want to keep on leading Zog Channel, or do you want to have Norvar? Oh, uh, I, I got the headlights. I got the okay. headlights. Norvar, do you want to join him up front? Since you have the uh, talent. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. All right. What does that mean? <laughs> I go third. You kind of fart a lot, man. I, you know, I'm walking behind you. <laughs> it it's is like a sewer. That, that, that is vocally accurate. I'm glad he didn't face. say about me, actually. So. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about what it's like walking behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Occasional turd drops out. You should be carrying a shovel. You should be shaking yourself. <laughs> at, least, at least there's like the tail to signal you to, to, to move out of the way. Yeah, just uh, goes like, up. You know what it's like? 
falling behind a horse that eats like a human? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was Nagi's Feast. That, yeah, it was Nagi's no Feast. No more nations Sorry. for you, man. No more nations burgers, man. This is awful. <laughs> so uh, uh, Zogchen and Norvar, you begin kind of moving through, and you can see that um, the pathway continues on it's much more stonework there is the sludge and the sludge is getting a little thicker it's not like um and i don't mean like like higher it's just getting thicker and denser like it's it's older accumulation um but you do see a little bit of flow over top of it uh, of watery nastiness mm -hmm. so this is like shit and piss is what you're telling me the, yes uh, yes no yeah i yeah that's sewage okay yes. yeah, um, honest. so as you kind of go through um this one goes up for about 30, 40 feet. Um, and as you approach uh, Norvar, you, you're, you notice, you and Zogchen both notice another glow on the wall. Hmm. This oh, one. Um, play wall or? Yes, it says go that way. I mean, I'm assuming this is what's activating the guide and avoiding helping us get through the slot faster. That is true. So okay. you, so uh, you guys kind of camera will continue up. Uh, the glow starts to go away. Uh, Morbarn, as you guys are approaching through, uh, you you get a glimpse. Actually, make a uh, Morbarn make a perception check for me. Oh. Second. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. You get a glimpse of the runes as you uh, of these like of these kind of glowing runes in this kind of thieves can't type situation. And as you do it, uh, you can tell that this is indicating that there's a danger to avoid at this point in the tunnels. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say yeah. anything? Or? Um, well, I can just look around and notice all the bones that are piling up in this little area. Uh, like, there's there's oh. not really so much bones. Uh, it's more of like, um, like debris at best. Okay. Um, but you. So I was thinking danger, like, because there were. Okay. Fair enough. Um, hey, so we should just take a moment. Let's catch a beat really quick because my, my stabby senses are starting to tingle. <laughs> and. Stabby I'm senses? Feeling. Yeah. You feel yeah. danger? Riches? I feel. I, I not only feel it, but that is a warning up there. I need. So we need to. Norvar. I look at Alundria. Hey, Norvar, maybe no sounds security. Like this, make, but it, a, but his stabby sense is really accurate. Norvar, <laughs> yeah, make a make a dexterity saving throw. Ah uh, shit. Uh, we're gonna do minus one fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So you, as like Morborn kind of like yell, like starts telling you, telling you to be careful, and you're kind of casually looking around. Uh, you know. Uh, you hear like a kind of like like a clinking sound of some sort and you sense like a like a plate kind of drop where you're standing a little bit and mm. these blades come out of the wall and try like try to stab you in the leg but you avoid it uh narrowly jesus <laughs> okay we're gonna have a conversation about how fast you inform me of things like this hey we, sh we should search for traps maybe more yeah. I could yeah, avoid them. Yeah, I'm not sure you would be able to dance around them as easily. Well, you know, I could like equestrian <laughs> jump and <laughs> trot. <laughs> yeah, trot over. Yeah. We could shovel his shit and use it as a weight <laughs> for the next place. You could you could have as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wild and dude. Sorry. Love it. Uh, yes, uh, but perhaps yeah. More Barney, you, you should check uh, check for more. Traps. I'm quick. I'm I'm quick. I, I could do that. How so about, yeah. Um, how about you go point? You want the talent? You want the talent? Silver talent? Yeah. Okay. You right. you take the silver talent and you can see the glyphs on the wall, More Barn, and it clearly says like bear right, and Norvar was on the left, where Zogto was on the right. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that gnome. Okay, um, Tyrellus, you have you can kind of avoid it. You have you kind of take your time moving around it. It is a little tight, but you do manage to get around. I got danger sense too. So this sure you do have danger sense, yeah. So, um, but yeah, you manage to kind of you kind of advance a little bit. Um, Morborn's taking point on this uh, now. 
with uh, Zogchen and Norvar is going to... Do you want to go back to the back or do you want to be in the second rank or where do you want to be there, Norvar? Uh, I'll move back to the back to protect our flank. Okay. So, um, Morbarn, you're, you're advancing and uh, the tunnel keeps on going for a little bit. Uh, you do see off to the right and the left, there's like some like small little rooms, but the tunnel keeps on going uh, ahead. Mm. Something tells me that there might be something of value through here. Wait a moment. <laughs> Can I investigate yeah, those? Sure. So you, you break off into uh, the, do you want to go to the room on the right or the left? To the left. Okay. Um, you go off into it and take a look. The, um, oh, excuse me, sorry. My, uh, my nose is bothering me there. Uh, let me double check something real quick. And, okay. So, uh, you said the left? Okay. You, you open the, you go into the room. There's no door. I mean, it looks like there was a door at one point. You can still see the hinges, but like they're well rotted. The door is definitely destroyed, all this kind of stuff. Um, you're guessing the wood was reduced to the sludge on the ground you're seeing. Um, but you kind of look in and it's a small kind of like 10 foot by 10 foot room, not very big. Uh, it looks like it had shelves at one point. It definitely looks decrepit. Um, you can see that like some of the sewage is kind of piled up in the one corner of the room a little bit. Mm. Well, <clears throat> I look at that. What? Fred. Sorry, um, I was uh, as I notice uh, everyone kind of approaching in perhaps imminent danger. I want to cast uh, my higher level bless on the first four party members. Okay. So you go ahead and cast a second level spell, second level bless, okay? And you bless uh, Morbar and Zogchen, Trouncer, and Norvar, no problem. Bless Tingle. up. I feel tingly. Yeah, you guys kind of, you guys kind of hear uh, Alundria like saying a prayer, and afterwards you you kind of you kind of feel a little bit like more. Um, no, no, just you have a very positive Unfitting. feeling about this. So I reach into that pile of sewage. Okay. And I. Search her, and I just I feel the sewage is calling me. I stick my hand in there, and I, <laughs> I get all, all right. you you reach in and you um you reach in and you just start grabbing at whatever, <laughs> and you pull back and you're holding your hand a pretty good sized rat that's Ooh. alive. Yeah! <laughs> and you throw it across the room. Okay, the the pile kind of explodes. And like a series of rats start coming running out of it uh, towards you. Uh, some of them try to, uh, you know, uh, bite you, uh, more barn. Um, so let me uh, let me pull that real quick for you. Um, yeah, they, they take they take a shot trying to bite you. More barn. Uh, I thought the blessing was gonna keep me. Safe. Well, the blessing helps, but it, it doesn't. It's it's not gonna like uh, protect you from a rat bite. I mean, it's not gonna. It's not like. It's not okay. that kind of blessing. <laughs> um, but the, they start kind of like swarming around you a little bit and like they try to nibble at your heel and everything, but like they just kind of, they're more interested in running past you. The rest of you are out there. You see like a, you see like a swarm of rats come running out of the hallway down uh, the opposite direction you guys are, were coming from further into the tunnels. Just try to stomp on some. Okay. Ah! Yeah. okay. I got my Just a couple up. of rats. Yeah. Stab them up. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't seem interested. They actually seem more afraid than anything. They kind of just run off in the the direction you guys are going, anyways. So this is not. I I, I apologize. I will stay on the path. Uh, there was something cool I thought was going to come out of that pile of sewage, and it, <laughs> I mean something was, cool did happen. Yeah, <laughs> the rats came. So let's press forward and continue. All right, so uh, you continue on with the talent in hand, uh, kind of looking around. The um, uh, you come to another uh, you come to another section where uh, you see a glow on the wall from the talon, um, and it's a, this is another kind of te a kind of a, a four way junction. Um, the four way, it's a yeah, four -way it's, junction? yeah, okay. it's the way you guys came from. There's way to the left, right, and straight ahead. Okay. Um, and so the the glow on the wall uh, kind of appears more barn. Uh, you can kind of take a look at it. Um, one of them is indicating that the path to the left would lead further down into the um, 
the ruins of the castle. Well, I turn to my team. What do we want to do? Do we want to continue to press down further? Do we want to what, what about the go right? What does the horn say? Yeah. The talon. 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 The talons are saying the talons the the thing on the wall the talons are saying that this way if you want to go further down um, there is you do see another one across the way uh, that indicates um, this way to what what's being what uh, you can only kind of refer to as the gauntlet. <laughs> do that. I think we that sounds fun. <laughs> yes. I think we need to go down towards the ruins. I would agree. Okay. I mean, Gauntlet sounds fun and all. I I, don't, I hate to ruin your fun. <laughs> he said down. down. Yeah. He, he said, said down. down. <laughs> Is that the wrong choice? Too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you keep on leading the way more barn, and uh, it opens up into a room. You got and there's just sludge everywhere. The sludge is getting thicker and thicker. Um, it's getting a little harder to get your footing at points. Um, without either like slipping or getting your your feet caught in it basically um but you kind of come to a uh, larger room that has a uh there's a there's a way out on the other side this room does seem to have pillars it looks like it might have been um used as like for some sort of function maybe a barracks or something at one point long 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 ago but it's been repurposed certainly into a sewage piece uh you can see above you there are drains you can see a little bit of light through them here and there, but they're definitely like, they're about like 30 feet above you. Uh, you're guessing they're probably parts of the street uh, in the city. I rec we are right above my father's place. Oh, this is uh, where all the you spit. Would, yeah, that would be a little far out. away because my <laughs> father's place has a, has a cellar. Oh, the, right. Yeah. I'm uh, wrong. The infamous loaf? <laughs> this I mean, would just be part pro? of the street. Like this would be part of the street, yeah. Oh. We're at, we're in, we're headed in the right direction, friends. You're definitely getting farther into the city, for sure. Yes. I like how you screamed out. I actually picture in the game you turning around like I think we're under my father's place, and so we're going. No, we're not even close. To that. <laughs> I'm wrong, yeah. but I think we're getting close. <laughs> we're making progress. That's what matters, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, you uh, you go ahead and um, start walking through the room a little bit here. Um, Morbarn taking the lead with Zogchen, Tearless, and it's a little more looser in this room. Um, as you kind of um, uh, approach it, um, what I'm looking for here, that's what I wanted. Um, sorry, I gotta, I gotta roll a die real quick here. Okay. Um, Zogchen, as you're kind of walking through this with uh, Morbarn, uh, suddenly, like, a, like something. Well, we'll we'll see what happens. I got to roll the dice more. Okay. Attracted to your cod piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is attracted. You can't you can't deny that. Zogtra, There's a rat in there, uh, your cod piece. <laughs> you um, right from right behind him, you're kind of looking around. And you see Zogchen. You have your torch in hand, uh, and you see Zogchen kind of walking casually. You suddenly see like a pile of the sewage kind of like rise up and Oof. like smack him. Behind you! Uh, Zogchen, you take, uh... Wait, can I attempt to dodge it? No, you weren't aware of the attack. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you take 12 points of damage. Oh, what? Uh, and, you uh, now you're, and now you smell. <laughs> yeah, I think that's... I mean, the social damage, I think, is... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Terrell, you're standing there, you see Zogchen get smacked by this thing pretty hard. Uh, you kind of see like like there's like a like a um, it's like a tentacle made out of sewage coming out, uh, and you can see as it rises up like crap is dripping off of it, but it seems to have some sort of coloration in it. Like you're not but you're not sure like what color as it drips back. But as, as soon as it hits, it crashes back into the into the uh, the sewage the the water. I will um, immediately stab it. Okay, my let me go and get. Let me have everyone roll initiative then. Woohoo! And uh, let me know what you get. Four. Got a four for. Twelve. Who's the twelve? Uh, tr okay. Transfer. All right. Curious, yeah. I love okay. rolling low. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, what'd you get? Norbert got fourteen. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, more I got a minus one. Fifteen. 
15 in Zogchen. Nice. Um, look at what, what's my uh, three, oh, 17. 17, very nice. Damn. I'm ready. Yeah, you got not like that. All right. Uh, top of the initiative, Zogchen. So you you get the smack. Uh, you you hear Tyr this like uh, getting ready to like uh, wield his uh, trident from right behind you. Uh, what do you want to do? Oh, I'm letting it all out. I'm burning a key point too. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't like getting smacked by shit. <laughs> uh, so I have. I, I, I've, it's been a while since we've had combat. I get three attacks, right? Uh, if you blow through, yeah. If you like really let loose, if you blow a key point, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cool. blow a key point. Okay. Um, so okay. I have what? Two, one attack with my bow staff, and then uh, two martial attacks. Uh, yeah, you could, yeah, either your bow staff or your short sword, your choice. You're uh, also blessed, so add a D4. Yeah. Oh yeah. Attack. Oh nice. D4 on the attack roll, yeah. Nice, yeah. Is that on? Is that on the attack roll or? Yeah, uh, each attack roll. Attack and saving rolls. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. handy. All right, let me get. Uh, Cleric. Okay. See what we got? We brought him. Yeah. yeah, we are. All right. So this is the the short sword. Mm -hmm. So you uh, shove the short. You try to shove the short sword in the sewage. Yeah. Uh, oh God, what was that plus five? Um, yeah. All right. So it's eighteen on Not the short. Wrong. sword. You hit. Okay. Uh, and then the the two martial attacks. Well, one's a natural twenty. Nice. Uh, and the other one would be... Oh, nice. So that's uh, 17. So okay. Uh, all hit on the natural 20. Yeah, just do uh, double damage on that one. On the natural 20. Uh, uh, what's my damage for the short sword? Uh, D6. All right. Double damage for that. And uh, the martial attacks are are two D6s. And I'm trying to... Sorry, again. I, it's been... Been a bit since we've actually. Yeah, no problem. The the off. You are forgiven. So yeah, they're they're actually uh, D fours because they're unarmed strikes. Like oh, okay, point. my bad. Yeah. So you're doing yeah. a D six and then two D. You're doing two D six and two D four plus uh, nine actually total. Nine. Uh, yeah, plus nine. Uh, so, oh, nice. That's uh, so, uh, uh, sorry. It's no problem. 14 plus 9 is what, 20? 23. 23. Yeah, 23. Nice. Days. So, you, oh, so yeah. Zogchen, so as you stand there, you you shove your short sword straight into the sewage. Um, as you pull it back, you can see that it's like covered in like a yellowish substance of some sort. Um, and then you start stomping and like kicking it with your, with your big trunk like legs. And you can see that it's like the sewage is kind of splashing off of it. And you can see that there's like a large, like yellow, orange ish. A uh, pile of like goo in there that seems to be kind of writhing under your uh, forceful attacks. Okay, I would like to correct that. I'm not just stomping. I'm doing some insane martial arts stuff while this is happening. Okay, like flips and shit. Okay, you mean like a, like a, like a, like a flip kick that, that turns into a stomp? Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm okay, we can do that. We can do like a leg pop. Okay, okay, okay. That's you know. All right. Give respect to the monk here. I don't got much, but I got that. All right, uh, more barn. Uh, you're standing uh, right next to Zogchen, and you can and you can see that where he's like been uh, attacking this pile of goo and such that he's um, definitely uh, like attacking something right there in, in this mm. pile. I'm headed for it, baby. Okay. You I'm going your, for those tentacles. You pull your short sword um, and uh, go up and uh, attempt to stab it. Uh, make a attack with the bone sword. Oh yeah, plus the D four from the blast. Yeah, actually D four. So you have a you actually have a plus yeah uh, plus seven. I got it. I threw a natural twenty, baby. Nice. All right. Plus uh, yeah. yeah. Roll a uh, you roll um. What is your sneak attack right now? Is it two six? I think yeah. You're gonna roll a total of uh sixty six plus five. Copy that. Hold on, I do right this sixty six, right? Yeah. Copy that. Ah, <laughs> uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. So yeah. you go up and you you stick your sword straight through the center of this uh, mass that Zogchen has uh, revealed. As you do, you can see that like a membrane of it, like kind of like a it looks kind of like an egg is what it kind of reminds you of. It uh, kind of like like withers and then just bursts and you can see that like like the yellow orange liquid is kind of dispersed into the water uh in the area 
Oof. Gross. <laughs> oh, nice dog. All right. Well, cl- well, I think he's still attacking Zogchen, yeah? Uh, whatever the, it, it, it's unclear at this point, but you definitely see it like, like you hear a pop, we'll say. Um, Norvar, <laughs> uh, you're in the back. What do you want to do? You can see them struggling a little bit. It would be. Would it? Can I get there? Can I get yeah, around? Yeah, you can walk. You can. You can kind of hike it through the the sludge a little bit. Okay. Um. I'm going to go ahead and come in with an attack as well. Okay. All right. You bring in us. Uh, give me a swing. Shit. Uh, I just rolled. Uh, 12. Yeah, you're Did fine. you add your uh, D4? Oh. It's fine. That's good enough. Yeah. Uh, you swing the sword, you bring your sword down where they're all attacking, and you actually uh, hear it hit the sludge, and you actually hear it, uh, or feel it hit the stone beneath the uh, sewage. Powerful. So it goes right through? Yeah, it goes right through. You don't feel, feel much resistance on your swing, actually. Take one of those. Um, okay. Uh, it doesn't do any damage, though. It just goes through it. No, yeah, you, you, you went right through, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Trouncer, what do you want to do? Gotta aim for the yellow shit, I scream out. Okay. Yellow shit. The, the yellow stuff is kind of like, like I said, it kind of has been dispersing. It's no longer, like, like held together as a mass. It's just kind of, like, withering through the sewage. Gotcha. Okay. Does it look smaller, the pile? Definitely smaller. Okay. okay. It's a bigger it's a bigger area it's covering, but it's kind of like withering around stuff. It's no longer um, okay. cohesive. Uh, I will rage then, but I'll use uh, reckless attack and uh, great weapons master with the All trident. Right. So uh, you drop your torch it. and you pull it, You go take the trident, and stab it. Yeah. And the torch goes out. Four, oh yeah. Okay, so twenty total. I'm twenty total. Okay. One. Yeah, you go up and you bring your trident down in that area where you see the yellow stuff. Uh, much like uh, Norvar's attack, you feel it like uh, you kind of feel it like clip off the the ground uh, a little bit. Okay. Mm. Uh, no damage need to roll, right? No. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem to be reacting to shop objects and stabbing. That's all I have. <laughs> Um, okay, so can I just? Oh well, I didn't move up, so I can't like use. No, my you words. were actually right there, buddy. Like you were yeah, right okay. front. You're right okay. behind them. Okay, that'll yeah. end my. That will end my attack. Okay, uh, let's go to um, Alundria. So you're staying there. Uh, you're watching them all stab this ground. What do you want to do? I will kind of just bring my shield in kind of close to my chest and. <laughs> And I like lean down and pray over as I cast uh, sacred flame upon the yellow goo. Okay, so you 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 invoke your you invoke your deity, and uh, to like you know shine its light upon this this thing that's attacking your friends. Um, nothing happens. There, there's no there's there's nothing there to shine the light upon. All right. So whatever mm-hmm. your guess, you're you feel like it, it's it's been extinguished. Whatever this thing was. Well, it seems that this uh, menace has gone away or is deceased. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. What strange, disgusting sewage lurks down here. Hmm. Yeah, the best way to describe it, it's like watching it. It was like watching an egg yolk get popped and just kind of disperse mm-hmm. in water. That's well, the best way to describe it. The egg yolk? Yeah. Good job, Morbarn. I guess you, the one that stabbed the killing blow. Yeah, I pick up my torch to relight it. Uh, it does not relight. It is rather damp and covered in sewage. Shit. Do I have uh, <laughs> Exactly. Pull, I'll pull a new torch out. You pull a new torch, okay. Yes. Yoke's on you. Ah, <laughs> ah, that's rough. Man, this Gogari shit's going to be gross. Um, we should continue forward before uh, if this thing returns or I don't know. Okay. Yeah, um, let's keep making our way forth. Uh, I think the sooner we get out of the shit water, the better we're going to be to handle whatever decides to approach us again if we re- meet more. Forward. Yeah. yeah. Forward. So, Onward. Robert, you, you continue on the path uh, as, as chosen, uh, coming up through the tunnels. 
Um, this opens up into another room where you can see that there is a uh, what looks to be kind of like a staircase going down. Um, discernibly, it is going to be an extraordinarily tight fit for Tearless to make it through this, but it kind of spirals down um, into the next level. Uh, you do see that there's a numerous set of, uh, from the silver talon, you can see there's a set of the runes on the wall. These ones seem not as a good a shape as the previous ones you've seen. Like you're guessing the water level here has been higher at points. Um, but you read through them and they say, um, kind of like, you know, uh, this way to, uh, like safety, uh, uh, another one of them kind of lead, says, uh, kind of gestures towards the uh, staircase saying this way to like the sanctum. Um, and another one is kind of like pushing to say this is going back the way you guys came from, which says this way to the gauntlet. Mm. Uh -oh. We are, I can confirm friends that we are headed in the correct direction. Uh, the signs that are saying that we are headed towards safety are just in front of us. But I keep seeing the signage for the gauntlet, and I almost feel it's worth investigating what that could mean, uh, given that we have a cleric with your, us. Your, your uh, best guess for the gauntlet is that it is like the like the true test of getting into the thieves guild, uh, and it would be it would be uh, deadly. That's why I was like, when I think of gauntlet, I think of the thieves guild gauntlet, which yeah. is uh, essentially the you know, throwing your life away unless yeah. you're fucking so this is a wizard so, rogue, yeah. So I feel as though I've been, so this reminds me of that time that I went to the brothel with no money. <laughs> yes. And uh, perhaps my green back is showing. <laughs> So we shall continue moving forward in this direction. Okay. So we're heading to a sanctuary. So there's one of them is, yeah. So one of them says to the basically like to the sanctum. They're going to the sanctum. Yeah, which is down Friends, below. Friends, thoughts. And safety is more of like it says like safe passage, which more to you, more bar indicates that like how to get around the city safely, like through the tunnels and stuff. So don't, say, us, don't tell yeah. me stairs. Don't tell me stairs, please. <laughs> it's a water. It's a sewage slide. <laughs> this is a, all right. We'll put this the, won't be pretty. Monitors on uh, on Taylor. Please, yeah. Don't <laughs> stare at me as I descend these stairs, please. It's embarrassing. <laughs> don't make me drink from the sippy cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Morbarn, did you want to lead the way down the down the staircase? I'll go down first. Okay. Yes, so yes. You, you guys go. You guys go single file. Tearless, did you want to go down in the middle, or do you want to wait till everyone else goes down? I'm gonna wait until everybody goes okay. down, so no one's so. One, I don't need your help. Please don't stand. Get your hands off me. <laughs> yeah, just look at roll down. <laughs> uh, so you start. You start going down the uh, into the. Uh, the spiral staircase. All of you don't really have too much of a problem with it. If you take your time, it's not too bad. Um, if you were to try to rush, you're pretty sure you would slip and fall. Uh, Tearless, you can't slip and fall because it's too tight of a fit. Like you're just, you're kind of lost there. Off. But it is very uncomfortable for you to get through uh, and maneuver on down. Um, they don't need to pull me through with like a rope, right? <laughs> no, no they don't want to put a rope on you and, and, and lasso you and have a little rip, under little sewage right. rodeo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you come on, you come on down, and uh, you're in a rather uh, much more open area than you have been. Uh, it, it's more like about twenty foot wide tunnels uh, and the like. Um, the the talon does indicate that there is a way uh, forward, um, indicating that there is kind of like the path to going towards the uh, uh, the sanctum as as they're calling it. Okay. Right. Well, to the sanctum. Yeah, I guess let's head that way. All right. So you start moving on through. Uh, more barn as you as you kind of come through you can see that there is other um uh emblems uh telling you that there is hazards that be be forewarned of hazards always be aware of hazards coming through to the sanctum mind your step <laughs> keep your eyes about you we are headed towards a particularly dangerous area more traps more traps. 
more deadly booby trap. <laughs> So as you back, I, go, I think to myself, I feel so much better about this if he didn't sound so excited when he says it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I need blood. <laughs> so uh, right Lord, up in the front of the of the group, you're uh, you're leading the way through. It's a pretty wide path too. So you guys, if mobile, you guys want to be in front, you're welcome to. Unless you want to just have whoever up in front. Um, I'll join her up front. All right. So tier, I have Tyrlis, oh. uh and the Morbarn up front. Uh, with Zogchen, not too right, right up there too. Uh, Alondria in the middle, and then Norbar in the rear. I'm behind the centaur. Oh, uh, you're next to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, I've heard arm I've heard. arm. We're arm in arm. Yeah, I'm holding your hand. Just kidding. <laughs> he puts his he puts his arm around one of your waist. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so you you, you kind of keep on going through. Uh, Morbar, as you as you approach. Um, I need more barn and tearless to make uh, dexterity saving throws. All right, we got danger sense. So let's see, what's that do? All right, uh, oh, advantage on dex save. All right, 19. Okay. Oh, plus Thanks. one, yeah, 20. Okay, more barn, what'd you get? Dexterity saving throw. 22. 22, okay. So you guys are kind of like walking up there and uh, as as you do, uh, you feel a plate drop uh, through the sewage that you can't quite see, and these two blade, these two siding blades, kind of come out of the ceiling and try to like chop you up a little bit. Uh, Morborn, you just kind of duck underneath it like you're playing the limbo or some shit. Uh, Tearless, uh, you kind of like turn and and, and uh, navigate it a little bit better. Uh, Zog, you see this happen right in front of you, but like you're not within yeah. range of it. Morborn, uh, perhaps you should check out the check for traps as we go forward. I think he found traps. <laughs> We're setting, we keep setting them off. <laughs> <laughs> so. Absolutely. All right, so you, you go, uh, Morborn, you go up and you start trying to look for traps a little bit more here. Uh, make a, um, uh, how do you want to look for traps? Like, what well, wanna... I dig into my pockets and I pull out these stones that I picked up the oh, fast like, yeah, there's stones rocks down here, no problem. There's yeah. rocks. I pick up the biggest rock that my little hands can carry, <laughs> and I start chucking them, and little explosions go off. <laughs> no, there's no explosions down here. Uh, it would it would probably blow the whole place up, actually. Um, but uh, nice. you, you start throwing rocks uh, kind of around. Um, they don't seem to be doing too much, but one of them uh, you throw kind of about like 30, 40 feet up ahead, and you hear so you hear a minor click up ahead uh, where nice. it lands. So you, you do have it. You kind of just toss them around, and most of them don't do much. But one of them mm. you do hear a kind of distinct, like almost like like that, that sound of like an almost click up ahead mm. in that area. That no so you have that, you have that marked in your brain to look at closer. I. Ex Cautiously approach where I see the where I heard this click. So you, you take uh, make a okay. So you, you approach it. Uh, take a make a perception check real quick. Just kind of look at the area, see what you can see. All right. I think the movers might be thirteen. Out. Okay, thirteen. Um, you look around and you don't see anything, but you think uh, it might be under the sewage crap. <laughs> Like it's like, and uh, I feel like I need to tell you all something before I begin my journey into the <laughs> sewage. But I heard something coming from that pile of shit. <laughs> you should find it and disarm it, whatever that pile of shit may be. I work Blood up the courage. Okay, I have some sherry before you do it. <laughs> I pull a pair of goggles out of my bag okay. and I wrap <laughs> them on. And I take a big deep breath. Oh, <laughs> Is this really going to happen? And I die. Okay, so you don't really die, but you just kind of put your head through the sewage. Uh, more barn, make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> like. Hey. A no, what? More barn literally dives into it, even though it's shallow. She's small. Yeah, He's make, small. Make He's a, very small. Make a uh, saving throw. As I notice that uh, my friend is doing this, I'm going to reach out and kind of like put a blessing upon okay. my, my little friend. Uh, who Natural you? 20. Natural 20. Oh, okay. nice. So yeah, you managed, to, you managed to stave off the uh, disgusting disease you would have caught from putting your face <laughs> in this crap. 
Uh, you you kind of look through. Uh, make an investigation check as you kind of like shove your head through the shit. I'll give I'll give you advantage because you're really going for it here. I hope you don't find another rat. I'm in the back going, wait, did the gnome just dive into a pile of shit? What just happened? Just the feet. You just see the feet of the gnome. (laughs) 17. 17. Uh, So you kind of put your head through and you start kind of like digging around a little bit with the goggles, diving through it. And you you find the loose stone. You're pretty sure this is the stone that will trigger whatever's in this area. God. Well, I mean, I meant not like a a stone like that. I, I meant like a like a stone in the ground. Oh no! No, I was like, you're not gonna put it in your mouth. Trust me. Like it's gonna, it's gonna. You would have to dislocate your jaw. You could help me yeah. find loose stones in my school. The shit. Yeah. Oh, someone hand me a shovel. Okay. Um, you actually have your thieves' tools. You could try to disarm it. Try to rig it so it won't, it won't work. Fine, I'll use my own. Okay. <laughs> uh, make a uh, just roll a dexterity check. So if you click on the plus four in your dexterity and add a add an extra two to it, and you're good. Remind me next time I get constipated and I need someone to dive through my centaur CC. <laughs> seven. Seven, seven mention you. Out. Okay. So uh, with a plus with a plus six, wow. Do you roll a one? Oh wait, no. No, I I I rolled a uh to be a D twenty plus six. Five. Yeah, uh Oh, okay, my bad. Eleven. Okay. So I you, rolled low. I rolled a one. You you start you start pinning with it a little bit here, and you don't quite get it. But as you do, uh, you notice that it does trigger uh, as you kind of slip. The rest of you guys are going to watch this, and you see that there's like um, it looks like from the ceiling, like these like little sprays come out, and like you can see it like sh- like a little bits of um steam coming like like something's evaporating off the ground uh you can see that where there was like a pile of shit before is like no longer there it looks like i cleaned it up pretty good actually um more barn you uh you man because you're on the ground you take a little bit of splash damage uh, you take one point of acid damage but you're you're clean now <laughs> yeah yeah this, like, <laughs> this acid shoots from the ceiling and like sort of splashes a little bit on you and it burns your skin a little bit but it's not too bad <laughs> It'll leave a a, pretty cool scar. I'm trying to imagine the smell of evaporating shit. It's the smell smell of evaporating (laughs) shit and burnt gnome. (laughs) I look at Alundra and I'm just like, so um, you have to tell me why you became a cleric sometime. (laughs) Did you ever have your faith lead you here? Making conversation while my, watch this gnome. My, my faith knows no shit bounds. Uh. <laughs> so, but but uh, yeah. Morborn, you do notice that like the way that you put your uh, pick in there, it did trigger the trap, but the trap won't reset. So it it, it does make it safe to get through. Well, that's one way to disable the trap, Morborn. Thank you. Yes. All in a day's work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be dis- difficult to disable something in the piles of slimy feces. Yeah, but Morborn does come out and, I mean, looks awful. Like the whole front of their person is covered. Uh, it's Whoa. pretty gross. Like the inside of Zog Chen's cod piece. <laughs> Less cheese. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, you wasn't even here to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Just say hey, he's so offended he left. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Fuck like, that asshole. How dare you? <laughs> Does anybody have some water I could spray on my face? We have any, does somebody have any wipes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure I have a rag. I toss. I toss yeah, you, you, it, it helps. It that. helps. It just moves it around. It's pretty adhesive. You're camouflaged. Um, so as you uh, you continue on more barn, um, and it's not it's it's kind of rough on you now. Uh, it, it, this is not a good place to be in terms of like your own like I don't know personal hygiene. But um, uh, as you advance, uh, you come upon another kind of open room with pillars. Uh, looks like it's supporting the ceiling above it. Ah! This way. Okay. Um, as you kind of walk into it, um, this room seems to have, uh, 
you, you take a, you take your first step in the more barn, and initially you get kind of worried because you think like you might have triggered another trap. You feel your you feel your foot kind of drop lower than you expect it to, mm. but you realize it's just that the floor is lower than the hallway you're in. Mm. Um, so you're about wa- uh, safe. Barn, you're about waist deep in this. Perfect. Um, that that's that. You might want to look around for traps. Maybe investigate it a little bit or something. No? Seems, the pillars seem safe. Okay, um, you go up and look at the pillars. I this? have shit in my eyes. <laughs> you have goggles. You put goggles on. Yes, uh, but that's true. I, mean, I forgot. Eye, at least. I mean, <laughs> the poop in my ears. Is the poop in your ears. Okay. Me. I feel You're disorientated. Is the talent saying anything? Um, the talent, uh, talent. The, the talent told you that this was like the, the way of the sanctum and that there's going to be a series of hazards. Um, as far as the talent in this area, uh, Morbarn, it, it is covered like in, it, it's kind of covered in crap, but you can see the glisten of it once in a while. Um, the pillars, um, they don't seem to do much. Like you don't see any like glowing area in the pillars. Um, as far as them being safe, uh, they look secure. Like they look like they can hold the weight. They're definitely pretty thick. Um, uh, make That's an what she said. Make an investigation check uh, to see if you can, if you want to try to find any traps on them or something. Thick with two C's. <laughs> <laughs> Chunky. Oh, you fuck. Oh, uh, six. All right. So you start oh. kind of looking at the pillars, and yeah, you don't notice any traps on them. Um, your friends are all kind of behind you. I don't buy it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um, uh, we just follow her in. She says it's clear. What could we do? Okay. I mean, we could try checking. <laughs> All right. So it's water that we have to step into. There's no uh, it's just lower. It's, I think. it's sewage too. But this is like this has been sitting here for a while. It's pretty stagnant. Oh, there's no current. There's no current the here. Yeah. It's the best type. Uh, the longer we wait around here, the more we're just going to suffer. So I think that the, the more we complain and the more we just kind of <laughs> stick our heads down and just kind of move forward, the, the, the better, you know, we'll reach a sanctuary in the sanctum, so to say. Wise words from the cleric. All right, That's so I, I dive in. I'm going to do a little bit of investigation check myself as I come into the water and look around into the room. Okay. Uh, Norbar, you kind of go into the room, make an investigation check as you kind of look around through, through the water. Kind of like poke and prod a little bit your sword. <laughs> yeah. 21. 21, okay. Um, you're kind of going through it, and like you can feel there's some parts that are thicker than others. Um, your guess is just, it's like coalesce either fat or grease or whatever the hell it is. Um, but one part you kind of look through, uh, you get the glimpse of a familiar visage uh, staring back at you. Uh, familiar what? Visage? Visage, like a, a face. Yeah. In the gunk? Mm-hmm. Uh, Is it like Frodo and... Yeah, the mirror like... Yeah. Uh, okay. Is it a body? Uh, I look closer. Okay, so you kind of... you kind of you're like, what, what was that? And you kind of look back again. And you can see, like, it looks like... um, It's kind of like a shape, like, via, like, a series of greases and fats and everything like that, kind of coalesced into it but like it's like looking back into a few days ago uh you're you're pretty sure it's like the dead it's a dead ringer for uh moel's head Uh, oh wow wow. but it's like it's like it's like covered or made of fat or grease or whatever it is we can make another cod piece Like, it seems like it's dissolved in this gunk. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it, it's more of like if I were to take piles of fat and grease and make a sculpture of Moel's head. What did they do with Moel's body? Is I this it? I think we're standing in Moel's body. Uh, I think we need to get out of this stuff. Yes, quickly. All right, I start moving around. Like I was saying, let's just move forward as fast <laughs> as we can. Yeah. This guy's a running gag for us. I swear to God. I, um, think of uh, I mean, I take I take the head. I don't, no, you don't. It's no, full no, Norvar, Norvar, I need you to make a dexterity save with disadvantage. Uh-oh. 
All my dexterity saves are disadvantage. <laughs> this one especially. Mo Moel's coming for revenge. <laughs> One. Okay, use yeah. your words. Um, <laughs> so as you kind of like, you're kind of looking at this face down there, and you're like, oh, "This is stupid." Uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> it it whips out of the water right at or right out of the sewage right at you, and you guys see like what looks to be like Moel's face in made out of gunk, like with like a like a, a snake like body made of like this other crap and everything wrap itself around Norvar. Oh. Right, really quickly, oh, as that happens, I am going to cast a shield of faith. We'll have you. I'll, when we'll do that during initiative. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Dominic, you take. I'm gonna re-roll that because that was too abusive. That would. That would. I would have felt bad. That was. Way that was a brutal campaign. Uh, no, you take 18 <laughs> acid damage or necrotic damage. Excuse me, necrotic. Oh, I, I just scream out, cross! <laughs> well, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, 18 necrotic. So, you guys stand there, um, you notice uh, Norvar kind of digging through all this crap, Morbar staring at pillars, Zalkin kind of chilling out, Tearless chilling out. Um, well, technically speaking, I was very interested in Moel's head to use as oh, a... Oh, yeah, no, I would have thought him, yeah. You're right there next to him, yeah. Um, yeah. But I need everyone to roll initiative. All right. Nine. Why would why would Moel do this? I got why the same. I got the same thing, man. Holy shit. Eight. All right. Let me. Uh... Oops. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, Who's all taking? Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Morbar. No. Twenty-one. Damn. Yeah. Norvar. Eight. <laughs> Trouncer. Twelve. Uh, Alundria. Sixteen. Very nice. Okay. Um. What, what, what did I just ask? Oh, you were God, asking about I hate, being, I hate being ADHD. Okay. Uh, uh Morbarn, or Z sorry, Zogchen, uh, you, you see this thing wrap itself around Norvar. It's like a giant, almost like a constrictor snake around him, but it's made of like fat and grease, and it has this like congealed head of uh Moel, and it looks like it, it looks like it's screaming at Norvar too, but there's no, there was no sound coming out. Uh, what do you uh, want to do? I'm gonna beat the shit out of it. Okay. Um, and I am going to uh, burn another key point. Okay. So you go up and you start going boom, boom. You're gonna like try uh, to stab uh, it and all that stuff. Okay. Make a make your attack roll. Uh, do I still get the uh, the D4 as well or no? Is that called? Yeah, you do. You're gonna do a D6 with a short sword, and then D4s with the off with the unarmed attack. Okay, no. uh, he means bless. A Oh, bless. Yeah, you get the bonus. Yeah, you do get the bonus oh, to hit. Okay. All right. Oh, no, bless should be over, actually. It's been more than a minute. Okay, never oh, no, mind. you recast it. You recast it. Who do you want to put it on? Uh, I thought you recast it, Alundria. Alundria. I'm sorry, what I was that? I thought you recasted Bless, didn't you, earlier? I, I just recast it on... Uh, Morborn, I think, who else? Uh, two other people. No, I cast it on everybody earlier, but that was a minute. And yeah, that's, that's gone. Probably, yeah. That's gone, and then I just cast it one more time on... Uh, Let's say Morborn, uh, Zogchen, and uh, Tearless. Or no, sorry, uh, Morborn. No, I did the lesser level, so just the one. The one. No, it does three people, man. Even on the lower. Oh, level. no matter what. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the higher level is four people. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, that's what yeah. I was messing up. Okay, so yeah. Um. Let's say so Zogchen what, and Norvar. All right. Uh, Zogchen, and, and, Norvar, and, and Morborn. Morborn. Yeah. Cool. All right. So uh, yeah, make your attack. Uh, what'd you get for your first attack roll, Jerry? Um, all right, well, one's not gonna work. Uh, yes, the other ones are what? Um, plus five. Um, I mean, I don't even, I don't even think I need the blessing, but I'll, I'll, I'll put that's it fine. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Um, yeah, so I mean, one is, yeah, one is 10. I doubt that hits. Yeah, it doesn't hit. Yeah, uh, the other one is over 20, and the other one is uh, 19. Okay, so you get two, your, your sword misses it, but your two punch, you, you do manage to like punch or kick uh, pieces of this uh, right. creature, whatever it is. So give me damage on those. All right, so that's four plus uh, six, so that'd be ten altogether. Ten, okay. So you you do manage to like strike it um, several times. Um, but you notice that the punches that, or the punch of the kicks you put through uh, because of the way it's wrapped around Norvar uh, he seems to be impacted as well Norvar you take 5 damage 
Y'all son of a bitch! <laughs> what are you punching me? Man! All right. Sorry. Uh, goes to uh, Morbarn. Yeah. So you, you see across the room, uh, and you're waist deep in this crap, so it's kind of hard to move around. Uh, you can see that uh, Norvar is being wrapped by this like snake-like fat creature. Like I, when I say fat creature, I don't mean it's fat. I mean like it's made of fat and grease and shit. Um, and it's like it's like above him and everything, partially in the water. You see uh, Zogchen beaten on it. Uh, what do you want to do? Mm. Help me! <laughs> 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 Don't think about it. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm looking. Just I'm. I'm looking at my my options it, of attack. It was the same consistency of the previous creature. Uh, no, this one seems more. Um, the other one was more uh, blobus. This one seems more like a snake. Okay, so perhaps it has more weapon. form. It has more form. Okay, so slashing weapons should work on this one. This creature, grease, grease snake. All right. I pull out my bone sword then okay. and run. Okay, you run. Okay, you, you double sure. uh, up to it. Right out of way. And uh, yeah, go and make your attack on it with your sword. Pick out baking soda. And... 25! 25. Nice. Okay. Uh, you do strike. Uh, so you're going to do 3d6 plus 5 damage to it. Uh, quick, quick question Can I see everyone's character sheets or no? Uh, you should be on, if you go to the campaign on D&D Beyond, you should be able to see it. I'm on there. Oh, sick. I was just 17. trying to figure out a way to see everyone's life. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Appreciate uh, it. So uh, you, uh, more, more so you, you do, uh, you manage to stick your blade through a major part of it. Uh, Norvar, you take eight damage. As your blade, as the blade goes right through it, it goes right into uh, Norvar as well. I scream out on, oh, ah! Okay. My right. apologies. Guys, just to make this clear, you guys are killing me. Yes. We all we all get to stab him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's your turn. Maybe time to try to grapple. Do that next, I think. No. No. I will. Sorry, I'm reading a bunch. Um, I feel like this is one of those scenes where I'm going to be like, set a give. <laughs> just... You're all. Oh, you're at one hit point, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I was just on his life. That's why I'm reading a bunch yeah, sure, sure. right now. No. One hit point. I will do cure wound. Okay. You on want to Norvar? Norvar, I will kind of like grab it along the red. I will start to rub the red paint on my uh, shield, which is kind of blessed by my mother's spirit. Uh, rest in peace. Um, and I will reach out towards our friend who's wrapped up and do my best <laughs> to heal. Up. All right. Uh, so are you doing the first level? Uh, second level. So it's 2d8 okay, so plus 4. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it should be 2d8 plus um, cause you have, you also have your, uh, disciple of life. Uh, you'll hear, you'll heal actually, uh, plus eight. Cause you have a, you, it's your, it's your, uh, do, uh domain of, of spells or your, your life domain. So you get an extra life you heal. Oh, where so, do I see that? Uh, All right. features and traits. But don't worry about it. Just roll the 2d8 and add eight to it. Okay. Nice. Oh. Wait. That was D10. Then I definitely can stab it too. I am just kidding. That's right. <laughs> <As> a rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so rage. Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, no. 6, 7, 13 plus 8, 21. 21. Okay, uh, Dominic, you heal 21 damage. Nice. You feel your wounds close up uh, where Morbar oh. stabbed you. <laughs> oh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so actually, Norvar, as you're, you 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 actually at this point try to scream out in pain, and you're realizing that this oh, I've thing out in pain for sure. Well, that's the problem. You guys are all kind of realizing that he's not screaming out for pain. You can actually see part of this thing's going down his throat. Oh, I throat? That throat. Yes. What is the, the thing? thing the Moel. Parts the of Moel. it are trying to go down his throat. Okay. Okay. That makes me mad. This towards this. Uh. Yes, it uh, it's it squeezes on you, uh, Nora. Damn, get to go before me. My turn or no? It's it's nope. turn. It squeezes on you. Uh, it does strike. 
Uh, Norvar, you take an additional uh, four points of bludgeoning damage as it squeezes okay. you. That's a hell of a... It's all right, Norvar. I'm, I'm here to pull it off soon. All right. Um, Tearless, as you stand there, uh, you you a uh, large pile of gunk from behind you comes up and tries to smack you in the back of uh, in the back yeah, of the head. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I'm trying to help my friend. <laughs> um, it got a 15 to hit. I think that hit you. A 50, yeah, I'm yeah 15. Okay. So all of a sudden, th- this this like tentacle comes up out of the water. It just smashes you uh, across the back of the head. Uh, it deals a total of, uh, you're not raging, so I don't think it matters. Yeah. Uh, it deals a total of uh, 10 points of damage to you. Okay, 10? Okay. Yeah. Um, and you can see there's kind of a blobish form in the water next to you. Shit. Okay. It is shit. All right. <laughs> uh, trial and search, your turn. Uh, okay, does that affect my rage since I took damage? Sure, no. I can still rage, right? You can still rage, yeah. yeah. Okay, no I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rage. <laughs> that, that pissed me off. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing my wrestling. Trouncer's like pummeling himself. And um, I'm. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and rip the thing out of Norvar's throat. So you want to move over to Norvar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm you, have to you, do that you first. ignore this thing. It takes a swing at you on the way out. Yeah. Half. It gets a half your damage. Uh, which, which, which. You're not Totem, are you? Uh, I am. Well, I have the uh, Ancient Guardians Totem. Yeah, so th- this doesn't. Yeah, it does partially acid damage too, so the acid will do full damage. Okay. Um, all right. So you take a total of uh, five regular damage, which would be just two damage, and then okay. two acid damage. So you take a total of four damage. Okay. Right. Um, as this ah! thing smacks you in the back of the in the back as you go over to, to uh, Norvar, uh, you come up to Norvar and uh, you go up and you want to try to grapple this thing. Yeah, I want to try to okay. take it off. And make I'll a, get it uh, yeah. Uh, make a strength. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make a strength check. Okay, strength or, yeah, check. It's, it's a, a athletic, uh, athletic or, uh, athletics or athletics. And you get advantage okay. because you're raging. You is still. Right. Oh, wait. Mean, does, does the advantage from mine still the. I don't think I get blessed, right? No, blessed doesn't affect uh, skill checks. It, it affects saving throws and attack rolls. That's right. My bad. No, no skill problem, check. No problem. Okay. What you got? What you, what you got, Tearless? Uh, okay, 12 plus the. Right, rage, 7, seven uh, 19. Okay, so you go up and you grab this thing. And like your hands kind of go through it, but you manage to keep it on it well enough that you pull it off. Yeah. Uh, suddenly, Norvar can is like, oh my god, <laughs> like coughing parts of this shit up, and yeah. like don't do that, Moel. And everything. I'm talking uh, to it like it's Moel. I don't you, know. You kind of throw it on the ground uh, off of him. Uh, it goes back in the water. You can kind of see it like slithering around the water uh, okay. a little bit. I think that's your turn, pretty much. So yep. you, yeah, you rage. Yeah, you did all that stuff. Okay. Um, Norvar, it's your turn. Uh, you saw where you threw it in the water, so you could definitely take swings at it, or you could, uh... Oh, yeah. I'm taking a swing at it. I cast Thunderous Smite, and okay. then I swing the fucking thing on it. And everyone right. start hearing this rumble. My eyes start glowing, and you guys hear a rumble. Don't forget, that was Moel! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you were blessed as well, so you get to add a D4. Yeah, you get yeah. a D4 to hit. To your roll. Okay, well, then I got 25. That does it. That does it. Oh, nice. 25. So you, you, so you guys start hearing a rumble, and my eyes glow, and I come down on this thing, and it, it basically sounds like a storm, oh, thunder clap right in the middle of everything. I've never seen him so pissed. No, I'm pretty pissed. <laughs> All right. It, makes it's it, saving, it, it made it saving throw, but you, you get the extra damage. Uh, it made the saving throw yeah. against my stone attack. Yeah, did I get the, the straight throw, yeah. They did pretty well on it. Okay. Well, then it would get, the thunder damage would mm-hmm. get uh, nine. Nine. Okay. That's and cool. it needs to make a strength check saving throw. That's or what, gets yeah, I did that. I made that. What, what, you only did nine total with 2d6 plus your weapon damage? Oh, I thought you said save against my regular attack. No, no. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, then I did... That's fine. One second. Eighteen points of damage to okay. it. Yeah. Right. So then, you go up and you you give it some pretty good business as you hit it. As you hit it, though, your the thunder rings out and you can feel like um like the pillars in the room kind of shake a little bit. You notice that like a large um pile of like goo kind of comes off the ceiling and lands right in the middle of the room making a rather large plop. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. I look um, at it. I look at the others. I go. Ah, attack the blob. You may do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, There's two of them. More barn. It's your turn. I'm checking the plop. Okay, you go over the plop, um, mm. and uh, you, Wait, you see that there's like kind of like like the, like it's kind of looks like a color of like some sort of goo came up the ceiling, but then like it started to cover up with sewage again. But you can see where it is. Mm. Hey, John, I, I I think I think I went before Morgan. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, Zogchan yeah. does before yeah. Morgan. I'm sorry, yeah. Zogchan. So, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I mean, skip you, buddy. What do you want to do? Uh, I mean. There's two of really, them. Really, I want to get Moel's skull, but we can come back for that. Because um, I think that'd be a cool shoulder shoulder okay. plate. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to run over to the plop and, uh, I don't know, just start whacking it. Okay. You run over the plop. Um, you can still see it. Yeah, get go for it. Get out of the gutter, Norvar. Anyway. You no, know, I was just thinking, like, if it's, a, if it's a blob of sorts that burns. Yeah, well, that's true. But it's still going to happen. <laughs> Enough. All right. Okay. Yeah, I go over to where I where the plop is and right. uh, chop with my yeah, sword. Your, and so yeah, give it, get, uh, are you building the key point or are you just doing the two? No, no, do, just uh, the regular. It's the regular. Okay. Uh, so the sword. Am I still blessed or no? Yeah, you're still blessed, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, the sword. So that's twenty with the sword. Unnatural twenty. Okay. And nice. my my fist, my fist of cuffs is uh, twenty one. Okay. So, um, you, uh, yeah, give me, give me a damage total. They both hit. Um, what is that? Uh, plus six. Sorry, give me a second. No problem. Um, that'd be 12. 12 damage, okay. Uh, all right, yeah, both your, both of your attacks strike the thing. Um, when you pull back your sword, uh, yeah. You notice that the sword seems to have a lot of corrosion on it. Ooh. Like what kind of corrosion? Like, like, like parts sit- of it. It looks like you've like left it out in the rain for like two months. What did it do to my fist? Patina. You didn't do shit to your fist. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But it definitely corroded the uh, metal. Is is the sword no longer useful? No, the sword just does minus one damage now. Hmm. All right, well, I got my board stat. All right, well, that's... I, I'm annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. It's good to get into it with the cop piece. Um, all right. All right, well... That was your... That was... I did. Uh, it goes to Morbarn. What do you want to do? You see Zogchen beating on the gray blob. Mm. Say, so walk this- to the party. <laughs> I can't afford to damage my blades, so oh, I take that. I take heed. Yeah. Uh... Punch it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to. Head, head it. it doesn't have any effect. Well, there is. There still is. The, <laughs> there still is the the snake thing that was attacking Norbar next to you guys. No, oh, there, there's I'm three running. things, right? Three things. Yeah, there's three things in the room. Yeah. Okay. What's the third thing? The thing that slapped me in the back. The snake oh, thing with Moel's face. That was uh, Moel. And the big blob. There's three. This. I no, think no it was a, a separation. Yeah. Yeah. Different oh, beans. All right. I'm gonna look for that thing that slapped Tyrolis. Okay, you, Thank uh, you. you go over to that area, uh, make a perception check, see if you can spot it real quick. Looking, I'm looking, and I have a nine. Okay, so I don't yeah, see you, my... you can't see where, you kind of go over there and start looking for it and you don't see where it is. Um, you're guessing it's underneath the sewage somewhere. Mm. It's kind of like in Star Wars where in the, in the trash mm-hmm. compactor, that's what I'm kind of thinking of. Oh yeah. There's something kind of moving. There's something. It's like kind of wavy. You're not really sure. You guys, you guys also splash all around here, so like it's hard to see anything in the in the goo. So um, even if she attacked, it would be disadvantage. Like uh, it would be a blind shot. You're not sure if it's in that uh, square or not. Okay. So, uh, all right. Uh, it is uh, uh, Alundria. So I, looks like he's in once again, shape. kind of. What's that? Uh, so you can still see like this like thing writhing around in the goo next to Noravar. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was uh, going to just heal some more though. Okay, go for it. Uh, uh, what I was going to say is I'm just kind of like at this point now, like before I kind of like had my shield, but now I'm going to grasp my shield hard and mm-hmm. kind of spread the, uh, the essence of the uh, uh, 
Shit, sorry. Who? The essence of the shit. Uh, <laughs> of uh, the ch I'm going to channel divinity and okay. uh, preserve, preserve life, preserve life uh, and spread that. Uh, is, any, ten... is, is anyone below half hit points? Uh, not yet. I'm at 35.49. Yeah, it only because preserve life only works up to the half their hit points, and I don't think anyone's that beat up. Oh, oh, my bad. Fine. I miss. I misread that. Uh, yeah, let me. I would, uh, I, Norvard, you need, are you damaged or what, man? Yeah, I'm at 18 out of 32, but uh, yeah, it's not... Yeah, give a cure wounds, man. Oh, yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh... Let me just do... a uh, Channel 1. Uh, or uh, oh, first level. Sure. So that'll be a cure D8 wounds. plus, uh, plus 8, eight. Or plus 4, yeah. sorry, plus 6. Sorry, yeah. Plus 6, plus 2, right, yeah. So no, sorry, plus four. three. Actually. It's plus. I'm sorry. It's, it's a D8 plus seven total. I'm sorry. Yeah, because your life domain thing. So. Okay, so it's four plus seven, so eleven. Yep. So you get eleven hit points back, Dominic. All right. So you, you, your friend, your new friend, is in there praying over you, uh, healing your wounds, uh, reassuring you. Maybe, uh, maybe this coup, this coup god isn't so bad. All right. Yes. I, I'm definitely. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. He's pretty cool. Okay. He's uh, the cool. guy is the only person who didn't hurt me, <laughs> trying to save me. I didn't hurt you. Well, Trouncer. So, the, uh, Norbert, as you stand there, you can kind of see this thing slithering in the water still, and like it, it does a disengage action, and then it slithers underneath underneath the sewage, uh, and you're not sure where it went. Okay. When it's my turn, I have. I have options. Okay. Um, Morbarn, as you stand there, uh, from beneath the sewage, uh, this this uh, tentacle kind of comes up and goes to try to slap you. Um, it did not do so well. It missed horribly, actually. <laughs> and you guys you see it splash down, and you can see the shape of this blob kind of on the surface of the sewage. Okay, so we know where it is. Yeah, you can see it for sure now. Um, Next up, uh, Zog Chen, as you stand there, this thing, uh, this kind of goo starts kind of withering through the, uh, uh, in the sewage, and it, like, shoots out its pod at you, uh, a little, like, pseudopod, little tentacle comes out and tries to smack you. Um, let's see if it can hit. Uh, it misses horribly. It just kind of, like, flails around, uh, wherever. Okay. I have laugh. Uh, it is Trouncer's turn. All right, um, which one, um, the one that's closer... So, I mean, it's Zogchen, there's one over there, and there's one by... You're, you're equally close to the two of them, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'll take my javelin out instead, since I since it was uh, corroding Zogchen's weapon. I'm going to go over to where Morbarn is, and I'm going to hit it with the javelin. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Oh, shit. What did that happen? So, one-hander, yeah. So, you can't do the yeah, great plus weapon five. Stuff, Yeah, plus five. Yeah. Oh, my God. I rolled the natural one. <laughs> wah, wah. So you're you're um yeah you 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 go up and you try you're just jabbing it like at like goo in general like you're like it's gooey die die sewage die it all looks the same it all looks the same that's right once it comes out that end it all looks the same <laughs> all right uh, Norvar it's your turn okay I'm going to uh, um, I'm going to use one of my divine senses to okay. find it all right so nice. you start kind of like you kind of start feeling out for this thing um, and <laughs> It doesn't come off. You don't get any pings back. Okay, I'm pinging. I mean, I just it basically is a ping for the whole room to get a sense of right. But it only detects certain types of creatures. Yeah, it's or any strong evil. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it doesn't detect oozes. So it's not. Oh yeah. So it's not <laughs> dead. It's an ooze. Okay. Yeah. These uh, are oozes. So yeah, you you kind of you kind of feel like maybe this is like the undead spirit of like Moel, but like you don't get anything back. Moel would do this to us. Classic Moel. No fucking well, yeah, classic Moel. I was oh, just trying to deep to deep fuck my throat, like. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but at what point was that an indication of something that he was capable of? <laughs> Perhaps he fancied you. All that being in his character 
traits. I mean, he is a. It, it is. It is a. It was. A, he was a bugbear. So um, <laughs> that technically was an action for me to cast that. That was. Right? Yeah, you kind of hold on and feel your senses, and nothing comes. Yeah, back I kind of like close my eyes and like sense stuff, and I don't sense yeah. it. Oh, damn it! All right, uh, Zogchen, you're standing there against this ooze. Oh, gonna gonna kick its ass again. Yeah. Um, am I still blessed? Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't even need the blessing. Uh, I mean, one is twenty-four, the other one is eighteen. Yeah, you hit it twice. Are you, yeah. are you using the sword? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the sword again okay. until okay. until it's busted. All right, the sword takes another minus one. So nice. remember, minus one damage on the sword. So that would be so my so all right, so plus five. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that'd be ten. Ten total. Okay. So you you go up and you stick the sword through it. Your sword comes back corroded. You then punch it and you actually hit like a point of it where you can kind of see like a part of it kind of like uh, balloon out and then it like it kind of bursts like it's like a pimple or some shit. It bursts out and you can see part of like this ooze that's like very gray in color, um, very kind of like a, almost a silver at times, kind of spray out and the thing kind of disperses through the sewage. T two man, just like yeah, a like T two. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No thumbs up. No yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm, I just I just do this to it. Like Asta la vista, baby. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> more barn. Uh, you can now see the um, thing that you're looking for fighting tearless. I'm headed over there. All right, you're I'm, right there. No problem. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Oh wow. That was cool. Oh, my little uh, golden child. Uh, golden child. Yeah. All right. Can I grab it? Can I grab yeah. it? Yeah, you can try, yeah, if you want to grab onto it, sure. Not a bad yeah. idea. Uh, make an athletics check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, you you managed to uh, grab it and hold, you're kind of like you're. It's like trying <laughs> to like grapple like a slimy beanbag. Yeah. And, like like you're holding onto it and you're you're making sure it's not going to move away. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm locking it in place. There you go. Yeah, you're trying to keep it above the water and shit, so it doesn't like it doesn't slip away from you. Okay. Uh, it goes to uh the trouncer. Oh, sorry, sorry, Alondria. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and there's two left right now. Yeah, there's one that slithered off. The one that had the face on it. You're not really sure where it is unless you want to look for it. And then you can see that Morborn and Tearless are definitely tangling with a large kind of like, uh, orangish, yellowish, uh, brownish. Blob. All right. Well, I am going to kind of like put my sword and my mace to my side and my chest forward as I emit this uh, floating this spectral weapon. Oh, okay, uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. Yeah. With a uh, spiritual weapon, and I will attack it. Okay. All right. You attack the yellow thing. Cool. Uh, roll an attack roll for the spiritual weapon. Oh, it's attack and plus two. Yes, yes. Did you have a that equals twenty? Yeah, the hits. Nice. Excellent. Um, Kill four. it. Uh, Take him out. Ten. So my bonus here is one d eight plus four plus four. No, one. It should be just uh one d four plus four. Or one d eight plus four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get like mo bonus healing. That's pretty much it. Like, but your damage is standard. Sweet. And then I could take a bonus action with this. Uh, it's a bonus action to cast a spell, and it makes it attack immediately. Ah. And then you get then you can hit your normal action still too. So you can still do like sick or flame if you want to. Uh yeah okay I will well I got an eight and add eight so that's twelve nice. damage 12 from damage, the spiritual okay. weapon and then I will cast a sacred flame which is just one more d eight yeah well it has to make a it has to make a dex save uh, it uh, failed nice. it failed um, which takes two more damage okay so you you go up, you guys suddenly see like this um kind of like uh, moon appear. Uh, this kind of like this kind of like moon up here with like a mace in it, and it keeps on swinging at the item. Uh, and as Laundria uh, prays prays to their to his god uh, to keep this going. Uh, and I'm really I'm really I really like clerics that I really like spellcasters that burn through the spells because it makes it easy to, to hurt them. Um, so, <laughs> uh, but all right, okay. So that was Alondria's turn. Uh, pretty elaborate turn, actually. Uh, that was good. Yeah, that was a good turn. Okay, this thing's kind of moving around. Um, 
All right. Zog Chin. <clears throat> That's what cantrips can trips are for, right? right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zog Chin, <clears throat> I need you to um, make a dexterity saving throw with uh, disadvantage. Don't, don't I get uh, advantage with dexterity? Uh, Zog Chin. I don't know. Is it against the snake? things, but not this. Okay, okay. Is it the snake too? Would my ancestral guardian help him in any way? I think you have to assign that to somebody. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, watch my, I'm doing a deck save here. Uh, lowest was a 10. 10, okay. Creature. Yeah, you, uh, so all of a sudden, like out of the water, this the this thing that has Moel's head comes flying out and like wraps itself uh -huh. around you. My, my, my new shoulder piece. <laughs> You've returned to me. Um, and you guys see Zog Chen wrapped up in this thing pretty thoroughly. Yeah. All right. Uh, it goes to the big jelly thing that uh, it goes after um, Morbarn because Morbarn clearly mm -hmm. has it in for it. So uh, here it goes. It tries to smack you. Morbarn, it tries to smack you and it does not. Like as you're holding it, like parts of it start coming off, like trying to like whip at you, and it, it, it's too, you're too slippery too. You're both very slippery. Yeah, because right. I'm all covered in shit. Pretty much, yeah. That's where I was going. Uh, Trouncer, it's your turn. All right, she's holding it, right? I'm going to hit it with the javelin. All right, go for it. All right. Come on, dude. Jesus. F uh, ten. That hits it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's like... actually not that hard to hit. All right, five points of damage, and I'm raging, so two more, so seven. Okay. Um, You pull your javelin back, and your javelin is not damaged at all. Wooden weapons work on this these things. All right, uh, Norvar, it's your turn. Uh, you see Zogchen tied up by your friend, choking. Yeah, okay. But I'm also kind of enjoying it at the same time. It's true. Kind of. Yeah. Is there any part of it awkward? <laughs> Is there any part of it that makes it, remembering how I got stabbed like a pincushion when people tried to save me? Can I see as I move towards him anything that allows me to attack this without hurting him? It is because this thing is quasi transparent, it's hard to see where Zogchen begins and ends compared to this thing. Okay. So, um, the, so that ancestral garden says uh, anything that attacks something other than me would take a disadvantage in their attack. Attacking yeah, if you people. attacked at it. Oh, okay. Just yeah. the snake is the only one then. Yeah, you have. It has to. If it if it takes a swing at you, or if you swing at it, but you haven't swung at that thing, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't affect it. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Cool. Just trying okay. to protect my friends. Very nice, Got Gary. It. Very man of war. Yeah. He's in the superhero cool. now. Okay. This is my. Oh, I see right what you're now. saying too about the uh, about the ooze. Yeah. Okay. I'll get I'll get on that. I'm not I'm not as familiar with ancestral. Uh... I don't think ooze is sleep, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what are you doing, Dominic? Uh, I am going to, as a bonus action, I'll cast Shield of Faith okay. on uh, on uh, Zogchen. Okay. I just give him a bonus two to plus two to uh, his AC for the duration. It'll make it harder for this thing to attack him. Sure. I know he's grappling him right now, but it'll it'll just make yeah. it harder. No problem. And then, uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry Zogchen, this is why I did this for you. I'm going to take a swing at this thing as best I can. Oh, All nice. right. Go for yeah, it. So I'm purposely just trying not to. Should I roll advantage, disadvantage when I, I do straight, this? Straight check. Just straight attack. Natural 20. Yeah. Natural 20. Okay. Uh, 25. Roll damage. You, you, five, you, actually, do, do roll the damage. Oh, you do have to roll the damage. I'm sorry. So do yeah. double damage on it. It's great for the party, not so yeah. good for me. Sorry. Right. My body. Oh shit! Hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Take a bite of my insides. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna use your skull as a cod piece. Damage total. 18. All right, you take nine damage, Zogchen. Um, your your blade cuts through this thing without much issue and lands a little bit to Zogchen as well. Uh, but you see, like it kind of like rither, and then like it just kind of turns into water and disperses into the into the uh, ground. You do see the head of it that looks like that look like Moel kind of disperse, and it has kind of an angry look on its face as it disperses into into the uh, sewage. I was the one to cut off your fucking toes. It's weird that it would know to mimic Moel's face. 
strange. Yeah, that's something we'll talk about afterwards. Mm. Uh, and then I'm like, Song Chen, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Is everything that's, else that's dead? All right. As I, as I hack yeah, you up, cough up pieces of it. Uh, Zog Chen, it's your turn, bud. Um, all right, so so there is no skull of Moel. No, it's, it, was, it just it just disperses into like grease and like sewage and fat and shit. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, Tearless brought that. Yeah, so that's weird that it knew about Moel, huh? All right, so there's still one other little snake thing, right? Yeah, it's more holding one. More barn is holding. Yeah. More barners holding it. Yes. Um, all right. Yeah. I mean, let's. <laughs> you got them hemmed up. Got to throw them garbanzo beans. <laughs> uh, and you guys clay in the house. <laughs> please. Garbanzo beans for my family. All right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and uh, beat the crap out of it. All right. You you manage to make it over, have... sludging through the crap, yeah. and yeah, you get up next to it. All right. Well. Uh, See, I don't think that's gonna help. Uh, I doubt a ten hits. It does. It, it does. Oh yeah, shit! It's okay. not hard to hit. Hi, so my sword hits and my fist hits for twenty-five. Okay. Um, you're, yeah, right. so you you go up to it and you start like pounding it pretty bad, and you're kind of you're a little you're a little a little violent after getting stabbed by your friend. And He's uh, always violent. <laughs> you uh, you manage to crush it until like it just disperses into a gel above the the wow. sewage. Yeah, like, yeah, like it's like between your fingers and shit, more barn. Yeah, we you grab me a mask, hun. Well no. done. Movers are here. So, no. um, so as you guys kind of stand there, you're looking at all this like goo and everything everywhere uh, in this room. Um, you're realizing how gross this is and how just kind of like almost unnatural the whole situation is. Um, you're pretty sure though, it, it, this feels like you're on the right path to whatever this sanctum is where these wizards of Zahash reside. So oh, well, in that case, uh, we're going to, we're going to pick it up next week. Uh, nice. we'll continue it on. Wow. Uh, further into the, uh, the sewers of Oyanis. Uh, that was a little too premature. I think we need to finish this. Uh... <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I got class here in 30 minutes. I got to teach. So. <laughs> I gotta yeah. go press oh, thing, yeah. I, 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 I just, uh, it's always good to leave you wanting. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. What's gonna happen next? Yeah. We'll I will, 